functions in Excel. In Excel, we can use various functions that is mathematical and statistical, then uh, some financial functions also we can apply on the Excel okay, by using the data from that workbooks. So first, we will see what exactly the financial functions are and how can we use those functions in our Excel. Okay? So there are financial functions like FV, PV and PMT. Okay? So we will see these functions one by one. First one is FV, that is this FV function in the Excel. This FV function calculates the future value of an investment with a periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. So the syntax for the function is that is FV future value and in the bracket we need to specify the parameters that are necessary for calculating this future value that is rate, N per PMT, PV type. Okay, for what exactly these parameters are? We will see in the next slide. That is this rate is nothing but the interest rate per period N per is the number of periods for the lifetime of, the, the, of that annuity. PMT is nothing but an optional argument that specifies the payment per period. So that PMT argument is omitted. It uses the default value 0. If we are not providing any value for the PMT, so it accepts the default value as 0. Next is PV parameter. Again, it is an optional parameter. So the amount that series of future payment is worth now. So that optional parameter specifies the present value of that annuity. So if you are again if you are omitting the value of this PV. So it will accept or consider the value of PV as by default 0. Next parameter is a type. Again it is an optional argument that defines whether the payment is made at the start or at the end of the period. So there are two options or just two values uh, which are given for this that is 0 or 1 where this 0 specifies the payment is made at the end of the period while 1 specifies the payment is made at the start of the period. So if the type argument is omitted, if you are not providing the value for this type argument, so it considers the default value as 0. So here we can see the example. In this uh, particular uh, example, suppose the uh, in Excel sheet, the FE function is used to calculate the future value of an investment of $1,000 per month for a period of 5 years. So the present value is 0. So the interest rate is 5% per year of the and the payment are made at the end of each month. Okay, so according to that, we need to identify what are the values of the parameters and, uh, and as per that, we need to put the values in our function, okay, as per the given syntax for the function. So for this example, uh, we can put the values and then the result, we can you can see in this uh, given picture. Next is PV function, that is present value function. So this Excel PV function calculates the present value of an investment, which is based on the series of the future payments. The syntax is given as PV, then in the bracket we need to specify the para uh, parameters like rate, N per, PMT, FV and type. So again this rate is uh, same as the PV which is the ra uh, rate of interest, then N per is the number of periods for the lifetime of, the, of that annuity or the investment, PMT is nothing but your uh, uh, again the optional uh, argument in this uh, function as well. Okay? So that specifies the payment as per period. If you are not providing any value, it will accept the by default value as 0. And this type, type is again optional argument that we have to uh, specify and it will accept the values either 0 or 1, same as the FV function. Here in this example, the same example is given, we just need to put the values which we have in the given example as per the syntax and the result will be calculated in the next image. Third function is the PMT function. So this Excel PMT function calculates the constant periodic payment required to pay off or partially pay off a loan or the investment so with a constant interest rate over a specified period. The syntax for the PMT function is given as 
the PMT function then parameters are arrayed n per PV FV type that means we we have previously uh, find out that particular what is PV and FV so according to that with the help of the PV and FV we can calculate the PMT so in this you can see uh, there is uh, one table in which the rate of interest n per PV FV which are uh, given values are given we have to just use the formula of the PMT okay so and we just need to put the parameter values in that formula and according to that we can get the value of the PMT so in this picture you can see the example and the result is again calculated so that PMT again there are some uh, parameters and the description is given as rate is nothing but the interest rate n per is the number of periods over which the loan or investment is to be paid pv is the present value of that loan or investment fv is the future value type is an again optional uh, parameter okay that uh, specifies with whether that payment is made made at the end of the start so according to that we need to pro provide the values next we will see the mathematical and statistical functions which are used in the Excel. So very first is the count function. Count function is basically uh, counts the number of values in that particular column. So on the D column in this given example on the D column we have we have used we use this particular count function. So the syntax is given as count and we just need to specify the value value 1 value 2 and so on or we can either select the range so it will count the number of items or number of uh, values in that particular range next is the average function so this average function counts the average of that particular uh, column values so on the e column we have used the average function so the uh, way to use that function is equal to uh, sign then average and in the bracket we need to specify the range next is max function so max function is used to find out the maximum value among that particular given range so we have used here on the b column is equal to max and from the starting value up to the end value we have to uh, specify the range of the values next is the mean function which is opposite to the max so we we'll just we need to use the function as is equal to mean and the range from which it, it has to find out the minimum value next is the sum so this will calculate the sum of the given values so we just need to select the uh, we need just need to select uh, need to select the range of the uh, values from that particular column or we can just use uh, the uh, simply the addition uh, symbol that is plus symbol to calculate the sum of the values next is the mod function so we can also use the mod function which will calculate the mod with the help of the inputs like number and divisor so if we have the number and divisor we, we can use a mod function is equal to mod and in the bracket we need to specify the number comma divisor so it will give us the result according to the values of number and divisor next is the int function so this int function will convert the decimal value to the integer value so if we are having the decimal value as 5.256 and we are using the formula is equal to int and in the bracket the value that is 5.7256 uh, okay and then if we'll apply the formula on that particular value so it will give us the integer value as simply 5 okay by omitting all the pointer value next is a round function so this round function is used to round up the value which is in a decimal point so round is uh, we, the syntax is around number comma digit number but by how many numbers we have to or how many digits we have to round up that particular given value so that value we need to specify so in the examples uh, we, you can also see there is a number that is 43.9 okay so we have to apply the formula is equal to round that we have to select that cell uh, or we can just simply put the value and comma by how many digits we have to round up that particular value okay and you can see the results 
Next is the ABS, absolute, fu absolute function. So, this absolute function is used to find out the absolute value of the given integer. Thank you.